three years ago when we started Car Trek, the hottest car on earth, at least in the social media sense, was the new C8 Corvette. And today, something similar is happening, but instead it's with the Z06 version. But for that price, we know that you can get a lot on the used car market, and even more if you don't mind a little bit of bad history. I know I don't. Yeah, but it does take a lot of searching. It is hard to find cars that are as cheap as a Z06 Corvette that are exotic with a little bit of a sketchy history. But Auto Tempest makes it very, very easy because they combine all the major listing sites into one search. You can search things for salvage or flood, as Ed has shown us so many times and done a fantastic job bringing us total crap that should belong here, which yeah. is not your backyard, surprisingly. No, it's not. I wish it was. So Auto Tempest told us to set out to the deep, dark corners of the internet using their site find a previously wrecked supercar, and meet at Thunder Hill Raceway Park in California. I'm Ed Bolian from Vinwiki. I'm Tyler Hoover of Hoovy's Garage. And I'm Freddy Tavares Hernandez, and this is Car Trek. Nine? The ninth? Yes. Noin, 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 noin. You're annoying. Now, Auto Tempest is the best place to search for a used car, but we tend to use it to buy the absolute worst examples we can find. And the overlords at Auto Tempest have noticed this, so they gave us a challenge to buy the best, worst wrecked exotic that we could find for the price of a C8 Z06. And I have done really, really well with this 2013 Ferrari 458 Spider with an unbelievable history and well, there comes Ed, a little fast. Hello. Oh, ho, ho. yes. Coming in hot there, huh? Absolutely. Now, Tyler, you may look like the kind of guy to buy a non-skippable ad in front of this video to hawk some crypto shilling scheme, but you did it right. I thought you'd bring this car. Appreciate it. Yeah, you've bought the most boring thing you have ever bought for a car trek. Well, exactly, but I have to say that I'm trying to turn over a little bit of a new leaf. I mean, generally with our cars, they require a lot of different caretaking steps to drive them somewhere. This thing is bulletproof. So you've sold out? I hope not, but I'm going to try it. You built an entire brand upon buying absolute crap versions of cars. I think it's the perfect car to actually cross shop against the new Corvette Z06. Wow. Wow. Now the internet will not believe this. You finished a project. Look at you, Freddy. This is like seeing dinosaurs for the first time in Jurassic Park, seeing Freddy finish a car. Is this the best you could do? Oh, come on. Now you look like the product of some Common Core math curriculum. The budget was that of a new Z06. Actually, this is well, well within budget. This is a 2016 McLaren 675LT. It's really fast, man. It's, and there's it's no little fast. elves pushing it. You drove it here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It drives real good. Well, we already know Freddie's story because that thing was wrecked worse than any McLaren probably ever that someone has attempted to rebuild. And he did it, oh, which yeah. was really, really stupid. So you paid how much for it? $80,000. $80,000, but then you spent... It doesn't matter. Well, it, that doesn't it matter. matter. It matters to me. Why does it matter? It matters so the parts me. were astronomical, right? They're, they're okay, $240,000. Yeah. All in. $240,000. So consumers, the quality advice we're offering is that rather than buying a $125,000 or $30,000 Z06, you could buy that? No, 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 no. In the first car track, I made it clear that people aren't buying the base model. Now, Z06s are like 75, 100,000 over MSRP. So it's realistic that somebody could actually buy a Z06 for $240,000. And technically, we've gone off the purchase price all this time. So he could have bought basically a wheel and built a car around it. And then it, our rules are really, really bad. But if <gasps> someone was going to follow the rules, it's actually me because I did this right. I bought it after somebody had built it better. But this is better. So this is better. it had gone into a ditch. It was damaged all badly uh -huh. in the front, a little bit less badly in the back, R repaired. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, 87,000 miles on it. So this is probably the cheapest running and driving 458 to ever sell. It was $99,999.99. Okay. Where'd you get this? Las Vegas. Ed, uh, what happens to exotic cars with uh, that kind of mileage in Vegas? 
usually people accumulate those miles by paying about $500 for half a day to go drag race down the strip. Well, he swears it wasn't a rental and uh, it wasn't like a track rent for a lap kind of thing. No, it wasn't a track rental. No, no it was no. in California actually most of the time. So uh. I really don't know. We have no history other than <laughs> went from 30,000 miles to wrecked to 87,000 miles in the short span of a few years. It's a rental. It's a supercar. Well, there you go. All right. Well, you've but, done this exactly right. They yes. said wrecked supercars yes. for the price of a new Z06. That is a good answer. That is not even a real answer. And this is a terrific option that you could have chosen. So these are really, really boring cars, Ed. Like if you go on a rally with this, you are in the boring mm -hmm. car that nobody cares about. It's not even a, a supercar, really. But you're very comfortable, it's got features, it's, it's, it's almost new, it's a 2017, it's the newest car I've ever owned. Hopefully it has one of those amazing Ed Bullion stories about purchasing it, mm -hmm. where it came from, what body of water it was in, something. Exactly, so I was looking across the internet for the car with the best story, and I found a 2017 Audi R8 that was bought back under Lemon Law for a transmission issue, got out of that, got crashed once, the next year crashed again, and it was $130,000 thousand dollars and huh. this one with perfect history was five thousand dollars more and so i just bought it did you follow that like he was looking at one car that was perfect for it and then he bought a yeah. clean title clean history car for Absolutely. five thousand more yeah because that... amongst all the preposterous things that are happening in the economic market for cars right now as much as you claim that i've manipulated things you have made everyone overpay for hoopty grade exotic cars so there's no wreck in this thing anywhere oh it does yeah there's somebody absolutely walloped the front and cracked cracked it here Oh, oh, you, oh you, got a, you chipped your tooth sure too. Had, yeah, had to be towed. towed I, I, I am so sorry that. this is happening to you. I, I, I mean, this, this, is, this is, is somebody had a bad day. You should return really, it. Really, I mean, I, I hope they're okay. Uh huh. So you have a quarter million dollar car. Eh, now, yeah. It's insane, and you have an extremely boring, clean title, clean history. So you two are just guys, automatically DQ'd. Guys. Tyler Weens. Guys. That's it. Okay, we are at Thunder track Hill over. Raceway. Okay, it's a track, a big track, and I have a track car, so I'm gonna drive on the track. Oh, hold on. I'm getting a vibration. Oh, a text from Auto Tempest. Yeah. Welcome to Thunder Hill Track, gentlemen, but not so fast about getting out there on the track. Even though each of you claim that your cars have been safely rebuilt after their major accidents, we're not so sure. And it wouldn't be safe for us to let you out there before they were inspected by a trained professional. Head back into the paddock and you'll see what we mean. Can we rip an ignition coil out of his Audi it's, again? It's gonna take a while to uh, do just that. Just a few kicks. Also, he's yeah. it a couple of times. So let's go see if he actually built it better. Hey, billionaire doors. Oh, yeah. How's yeah. that gonna work out for look, you? Look at that. Oh. Tyler and Ed may not have had much faith in my rebuild, but I knew my McLaren would pass any inspection any day of the week. All I needed was an impartial inspector that agreed with me. You smell coolant? Yeah, something's quit smoking, but now it smells of sweet, sweet it's, coolant. It's sweat of the horsepower wizard. variety. Hello, wizard. Hi, welcome to my home away from home. You live here? Uh, sometimes I do. Vacation property. We were brought here by Auto Tempest to have our cars inspected for safety before they go out on the track. I assume that is you? Yes, but we don't want you to die today, so we need to get oh, these yeah. cars on the lift and check out, make sure no wheels are going to come off, no fluids are going to coat the track, or anything bad like that's going to happen. Hmm. And after that's done, then you guys can have at it. And by the way, this thing is really beautiful. Oh, yeah. He spent more than what two Z06s are worth fixing this It one. doesn't matter. Shameful. And then Ed's isn't even crashed. Get ready to be bored, wizard. All right, let's see what we find on here. That's it. Now, you know, obviously, Wizard, on their cars, you're going to see these massive repairs and welds and bent stuff. But my damage is pretty easy to point out. It's right here. Is that on Carfax? Oh, it's a structural issue, I think. I, I definitely got a better deal because of it. We got a little bit of a panel gap issue here. So, I mean, at demolished, this car was. That's why it you know, fits the challenge so well, so well. But I think underneath, it's going to be pretty clean. I mean, I don't know if you brought your tasting spoon with you, but. I don't even know that we're gonna have anything for you to try. Got some nice carbon ceramic brakes. It does, they're standard on the plus. CV boots look good, no blown out shock over here. This has never happened to me, he doesn't get back. It looks brand new in here, Ed. <laughs> How did you, what? 
It was a one owner car. The guy bought it in New Jersey, brought it down to the Atlanta area, ended up moving to the beach and sort of stopped driving it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's just been well taken care of. And you look at all the reasons that a car can be devalued. When miles are the reason that the car is cheap, as long as it's been maintained, cars go a long way. It looks very clean. There's not a drip of anything to taste anywhere. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. We do have some refreshments out here for you, but I know you prefer the strawberry flavored motor oils and things, but am I track ready? You are. The tires are good. The brakes are good. Everything's in its place. This thing is ready for the track. It definitely is. Thank you, Wizard. I appreciate it. No problem. Great to see you as always. Look at that cake. Yep, he works out. Look at the door for you here. Thank you, wizard. Well, this is kind of just a formality here because you already have been through, sorted out this car, made it perfect whoa, for me. Whoa, 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 no, we quoted you around 10 grand worth of work. He didn't even let me do half of that. Oh, I don't remember that. We were gonna be in everything 21 grand. Oh, I'm sorry, I said no to a lot of things. So what did I say yes to? 1250, 1500 bucks, something like that. It's fine. It's totally fine. Yeah. But it's just to make it a track weapon and safe, and I'm sure it's fine for that. I agree. We're not trying to make a museum piece here. We're actually just see if it's safe to go on a track. That's the bottom line here. I've already looked under here before, and yes. there's a lot of panel damage. It would have been thousands and thousands to fix everything on here. It was a hard run into the ditch for sure, and this car has had some cheap repairs. There's your Home Depot screw still holding everything on. Yes. A lot of the original brackets and stuff are broken or missing. I really haven't tested those screws at speed yet. So. At speed, yeah. Well, the brakes look okay. So this weld that's going on here, that was like from the front end collision deal? Right, where they welded it to where the whole bumper will stay and not fall off. I mean, it's, it's a weld, it's fine. I don't know. Let me check this other side over here. See, the brakes look good. Well, what are you worried about? I'm worried about it cracking and sending you into a into a wall or As something. As opposed to the Italian factory welds? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. A weld's a weld. Well, not much else going on up here. Well, I did spring for this underbody panel to cover up all the stuff and hold the bumpers back on, so that was an expensive thing. I do remember a corrugated tube. Here it is that had been hit in the accident, and my tech said that if that breaks, you'll lose all your oil. Yeah, but it's just kinked up a little bit, but it's still doing what it's supposed to be doing. But it could break at any moment now. They're already known to fail, and now it's kinked. <laughs> all it, right. It's not good at it's all. It's been fine for the last six months. So you've got the welds up front that are really shady. You've got several other things going on. Let's check these tires. And they are from 2018. Yeah, a few years old, not Four bad. years old, and they're mismatched. It's fine. The brakes look good. It's missing a, a fin here. It is missing a fin and there's some more, yeah, Home Depot screws holding that on, but um, it's hanging on just fine. I don't know, Tyler. I would say it's not track ready. I don't feel safe with it. I've driven much, much worse on the track, so you can just sign up on this one. I'll be totally fine. I don't want you to die. I still have a bill for you to pay. Oh, well, I know what motivates you. So here I have one million Vietnamese dong for one you. One million dongs? Yes. Who's the guy on the front? I believe that's Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi Minh. He's giving me a little smile. Just, just sign. I, I think that'll work. It's our little secret. Very good. Hi. I do gotta hand it to you. Between you and me, this is the, the more beautiful car. It really is. I think this is probably one of the most beautiful cars ever made. Um, here's the thing though. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I can get out uh, with this lift being here. Uh, Cause the car has billionaire doors. All right. And it's touching right there. I'm gonna try to get out. <laughs> so what you wanna do is, <sighs> Uh, okay, so what we can do is I'll be in here and you can be out there and I could just tell you what the car uh, is all about. Works for me. I've got, actually got a little step ladder over here. If I got any questions, I'll just come up to you. Okay, my back hurts a lot. I bet it does. It, it's, uh, ow. <laughs> oh, getting in isn't any easier. <sighs> okay. 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 Uh, okay. Are you sure the car is uh, secure? Yes. 
<laughs> it's wobbling a <laughs> So is this the point where I tell you that I'm scared of heights? Hi. Hi, so what are your concerns with this thing? I don't have any concerns. This, this thing is perfect. None. Uh, no car is perfect, okay? It depends on uh, how you're, you're grading these scales. Uh, but a McLaren in uh, this era, they weren't exactly known for their reliability, but it has no check engine lights, no warning lights of any kind other than an airbag. And it also doesn't leak anything. Does it have a good cold start to it or? You went there, didn't you? You just, you had, you had to. Uh, when I cold start this, it does produce quite a bit of smoke. Quite a bit? Like a lot, like, like, mm. you're, like you're trying to fumigate a house. Uh, so that's it. When it warms up, it's totally fine. Everything's fine, runs hard, uh, doesn't smoke ever again. One of my concerns was they could get black flagged for excessive smoke, but uh, if you say it clears up when it warms up, then I think you're good. Yeah, we're gonna do the honor system here. The honor uh, system? So I'm not only in the principal's office, I feel like I'm in the principal's closet. And I'm close. just waiting for him to get back to the office. <laughs> okay, yeah. well, I'll get started. All right, so you say this one's been crashed, huh? Yes, very, very badly. I see some panels and things that have been repaired, like composite repairs. Yeah. But it looks like it was done well. Well, I do see some antifreeze right here where the aluminum sheet metal meets the composite. What? Let me make sure that's antifreeze. Uh, don't, don't taste that. If you pass out, <laughs> I, I can't get out. That is nasty tasting, but yes, that is antifreeze. It's bitter. There is a hose hanging down that's not hooked to anything. It says safety connect. I don't know, maybe it's just a drain? Yeah, it's a drain. Uh, anything that says safety, we're just gonna disregard. Disregard um, safety? Off. I can't do that if I'm gonna say it's track ready or not. Well, just, can you pretend you didn't see it? Possibly. Okay, good. There's a panel missing right under the engine. Like yeah. a small rectangle. Mm-hmm. That's, okay. for, that's for more airflow. Airflow, right. Uh-huh. Really, I'm not seeing a whole lot of concerning other than the coolant leak and Maybe something going on with the damage that was fixed, but it looks like I said, it looks like it was done well. I'm telling you, this car is perfect. So it really doesn't look too bad in it. I expected a lot worse. I'm actually satisfied with it, except mm. for the coolant leak. That's really the only caution I'm gonna have for you. So you're gonna, you're gonna lower the car or? Uh, I think you can handle it. I can't get out. It's really hot in here. I'm sure it is, but you know, Tyler pays in dong and he pays really well. So I think I'll leave you to it. I don't even know what that means. Please help. After a fair bit of convincing on my part, which left my wallet a bit lighter, Wizard got me off the lift, out of my car, and delivered the good news. Gentlemen. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Wizard, yeah. how do we look? Where's your car, dude? I mean, I don't want it to heat soak. The, the sun is... It's oh, pretty scorching, yeah, it's, you know, yeah, leather and the McLarens hate that. That's yeah. fair, uh -huh. that's fair. So these two are ready to go. With yours, I am concerned about the coolant leak letting go and causing a scene. That's definitely something that needs addressed right so away. So he failed? Yes, failed. He, he did fail. fail. McLaren failed, not built, not rebuilt. No, 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 no. no. Still I, broke. I can, that's, that's not a problem. So you're gonna go ahead and take care of that, right? Yeah. Before you hit the track? Uh-huh. Okay, so based on that, I'll sign off on it. So. It's like a fix-it ticket. Okay. It is. But well, still a fail. Yeah, absolutely a it's, fail. It's, it's not. It's a fail with a wrench qualifier. On Ed's, there's nothing to speak of. It was track ready when it showed up, so. There we go. Of course it was. Very boring. Absolutely. Ready to go. And this thing needs to stay right here? No, it actually doesn't need to stay right there. Everything is good on it. I'm kind of concerned about some panels and some of the welds that were done on it, but The mismatched tires and, and everything? The really? Mis the mismatched tires? I think, as, as crazy as that sounds, I don't see any issues with it. I think he's going to be fine. But you're telling me that this thing, after that many miles and this mismatched tires and these panels hanging off and put back together by somebody in Vegas, is ready to go to the track? It is ready to go to the track, amazingly. Just barely. Thank barely. You, Thank you. But it is ready. Thank you. All right, I'll well, take it. While he goes and wrenches every day, why don't you take me around in this thing and not oh, sure. kill us? Go get your car fixed, ready. I can't... That thing? Yes, that thing. There goes the warranty. <laughs> Do you find
find yourself keeping this in automatic a lot? No. That's the best thing about these relative to the Audi is like it just, the way that you interact with the Audi, it forces you into boring automatic seventh gear at 30 mile an hour mode. So you're already complaining about your Audi. That's right. this way and we would have Thelma and Louise ourselves. please don't kill me Tyler <laughs> so that's the Thunder Hill they're talking about that's right? the hill that's and we the were hill. the thunder on it okay well uh, this is uh how that's do I get quite back a drop off here? no the other way this go way? up to go in the no 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 backwards oh my gosh um, I don't really believe that's the answer this way to the right there we okay. go now we all can right, make it on the track all right there we go back on no harm done. Since it's a salvage car, it's already been wrecked once. Uh, yeah, mean, what's another wreck? Yeah. That was fine. That was, that was a drop. That, that was a very really took us off. Yeah. Well, we won't tell Freddie about that one. No, 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 not at all. That'll be the end of that gloss painted, should have been matte carbon front bumper. <laughs> you know, he had that car two years of rebuilding it, and then he takes it to SEMA, and then he parks it for a year. And he brings it out here and he's still got to fix it again. Yeah. Quite a bit of a leak. It seemed to have loosened something instead of tightened something. Uh, all right, don't get in my eye, please. You think it tastes good. I mean, animals drink this stuff. Just gotta cinch that guy up. I think we're gonna be in business. Typical procrastinator. That's him. But still, I have more respect for him than I do you this time. Well, my, my mind's gonna make it all the way. Yeah, just stay in the middle of the track. Give yourself some room. You can't see let's, anything ahead on this track. No, no, let's stay out, let's stay out. This is the straight. Go fast? Yeah, the go fast spot. satisfying when you can pinpoint a problem. All right, not leaking anymore. Well, it's leaking less, I guess. Hopefully, knock on that carbon. And with my day's worth of wrenching complete, I let my McLaren go to work. So my track car is actually on a track. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the 2016 McLaren 675LT. <laughs> this, for all intents and purposes, is my ultimate dream car, the 675LT. And the 675 stands for 675 metric horsepower. This car is making a little bit more, more like 750, because I have mine tuned. Now the stock figures are pretty intense. Zero to 60 in about 2.8 seconds, top speed of 205 miles an hour, and I have seamless shifts from the seven speed dual clutch transmission, meaning that I can take turns harder and faster than Tyler and Ed. <laughs> now this car makes you feel super confident in attacking any corner. I'm probably not supposed to be this confident, and I'm very unfamiliar with this track. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh, 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 oh! Uh, 
I just went off and uh, <laughs> this car is very fast. Oh boy. I hope the car's okay. It seems to be. All right. Obviously, I needed a little more time to get familiar with the track and my car. And since no one wanted to drive headfirst off a mountain that I promise you is more steep than it looks on camera, we all did some laps in our cars to get the hang of things. Hey guys, my Bluetooth just told me that I got a text message and it's from Auto Tempest and they said to pull into the pits because now our challenge is to race a 17 year old child in a $500 car. Well, that seems easy, right? I guess let's pull in and see what's going on. That is not just any 17 year old, that is championship contender in Indy Pro 2000 on the road to Indy, Reese Gold. And that is not just any $500 car, that is the Toyota Corona powered by a 1JZ turbo super engine run by John Ficarra and the Sopranos in Lemons. Okay, that, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter what that is. Uh, it doesn't matter who he is. I'm sure you're very nice. Uh, that is a McLaren 675LT built for the track and uh, this is a track, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show him how it's done. Show him, yeah, yeah. do just that. Yeah. The only thing I was fast and efficient at at 17 was uh, no, no. Uh, video games. Talking. Yeah, really. oh, was it? Was yeah. It? Speed running, yeah. golden eye. Well, they have that in common, actually. Yeah, That's very smoky. similar. Yeah. Freddy, he smokes just like you. Smokey bros, look at you. We got ourselves a hoopty off. Does your car have launch control, Freddy? Yes, but sometimes you need to uh, restart it like a router. Okay, yeah, control alt delete that McLaren. This thing went from a SEMA show car to a plow. There's a $500 car to the left of me, and I'm going to show them what's what. <laughs> that is a launch! Now, it does not matter how much that car costs or who's driving that car, he's not beating this. Corkscrew. Got to slow down for that. Accelerate out of the turn. Oh boy. Another blind corner. He's running my tail. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. That, that is a lot of rock chips. Oh, stop, stop with the rock chips. I know I can beat him, I know I can. But my front bumper is $14,000. Let me try to pass him one more time. No, I'm... I, I, I think that's it. I think I think I'm good. I'll let him win this one. I just I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. It'll buff out. I promise. I may have lost the race, but thankfully my expensive front end was intact. However, the next race was between an incredibly cheap abused lemon that was built by idiots and an old Toyota. A child in a hoopty. That smokes like Freddy built the motor. <laughs> Got the 
jump on me. But I got the dual clutch. There we go. That is a fast little car. It's got a little 1JZ Super motor in it. But we are not letting him pass. No, no, no. Nope, you're not passing me there. You're not passing me there. Nope. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, he got inside. Okay. And that thing is fast, fast, fast. Oh, okay. Up this blind hill. Bounce it off this curb. Oh, big plume of smoke from that piece of junk. Come on, get around it. Reeling the kid in. Yes, son is inside. Oh, yeah, you got him back. You got this. <laughs> yes. Downshift. Show him what a Ferrari can do. Oh, he's that that far off of me. Dang it. No! No, 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 no! Lost him. Oh, come on! Oh! The Ferrari bend it! That was not the driver, that was the car. I promise you. There he is. Come on, can we reel him in? Can we catch him? We got a straight. Oh, you've got it, Ferrari. Come on! Come on, get there, get there, get there! Come on! Now that kid's gonna brag to all his friends that he beat a Ferrari. Oh, crap. Earlier that day, I had seen that Tyler's driving prowess could leave something to be desired, so I was not surprised in the least when the Lemons car and its 17-year-old driver claimed their victory. My driving was about to pair with this R8 like a beautiful Chianti and a Wagyu ribeye. Or whatever the German equivalent of that might be. But it's really predictable. He's gonna get out and laugh. Ha ha ha. Ho ho ho. Ho ho ho. I beat that kid. That's what you wanna say? Yeah. You beat, I, I beat him. him. You didn't beat him. You didn't beat that kid. I beat that kid. I, I, I beat him mostly. <laughs> Same here. I spun. God dang it. I, I almost had him, but uh, my bumper cost $14,000, so I oh. decided not to ruin That's it. That's the excuse for having double the horsepower and still losing. Okay. I like my car, unlike you two. I okay. like my car a lot. I like it more I'm than you I'm like enjoying it car. fully. I'm enjoying it. I have no qualms of 
blasting it down the track. Unlike you, you have a little prima donna show car, SEMA show it's car. It's $14,000, Tyler. Drop is in that, the bucket. Is that how money works with you? You already Hold mowed on. the lawn with the thing. That was an amazing. A text oh, from Auto that Tempest. Now that we've seen how your supercars can stack up against a $500 car. With a super you, motor and a custom yeah. suspension and like, like an Indy car driver. Yeah. yeah, anyway, okay. Yeah. Not the reality that. is that even with all three miles of this amazing track, most supercar owners leave simply bragging about their top speed on this front straight. Mm -hmm. okay. It's time to see which of you could manage the most bragging rights. Okay. We have a top speed challenge right here. Yeah. So that should be. Carry this turn and yeah. don't go off too bad there. It's uphill. I mean, you could be okay. I'm, I'm not afraid of going high speeds, are you? Uh, no, I'm not. If you can find practical horsepower with what you've done, you might have this. Let's go. Oh, this is going to be good. All right. Here we go. Another top speed attempt on the track at Thunder Hill. Well, you really needed this car to work, and so far it has, which is great. But Ed, yeah, he didn't need to buy that car. This is his perfect challenge. And it's he buys not even a salvage title. It's not even wrecked. It doesn't have an accident on the Carfax. Absolutely boring, too. If it had a crazy story, like some stripper vandalized it or something, it would be OK, but we can vandalize it. I suppose we can. Well, the only thing that's wrong with a car is that it has 59,000 miles. You're doing really, really well. This is the full Huracan spec, 610 horsepower, 205 mile an hour top speed, zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds, R8 V10 plus. And boy, does it go fast. Woo! <laughs> so we're coming around and we need to see how fast we can hit on this front straight. And that's going to primarily require starting as fast as we possibly can. Because when you're not dealing with just a drag racing start, we're not launch controlling our way in here. We're going to carry as much speed through this double apexed prior turn and see where we can get to before we have to break for our lives. Here he comes. Ah. It's making. It doesn't vacuum sound, cleaner noises. It doesn't sound like anything, does it? It really, I mean, it, for a V10, yeah. it's about the worst sounding V10 being made right now. But he is going pretty fast. Yeah. All right, now we're going to try to carry a little bit more speed in here on this first apex. Get down into third. Stay super duper wide here. Stretch this out. And floor it. 90. 100. 110. 20, 27, 38, across the line. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, that's, uh, that, that's, that's spicier than I thought. Yeah. Um, yeah, I have my work cut out for me. Oh my goodness. Whew. 140. Okay. Well, not too shabby. I'm not sure you could do a whole lot better. Can you beat that? I don't know what it is, but I have a chance. Your car has less horsepower. <laughs> less brakes. So that's the problem is I have to stop. Good. So anyway. Uh, okay. We'll see. Well, good luck. You have life insurance? Yes. You, you should up the limits. All right. I already know this is the slowest accelerating car of the three, but let's give it the old college try here. Tyler was very concerned about his uh, run because okay. he's uh, not a fast driver and his car has mismatched tires and also Nissan brakes. It's not the recipe for success. Holy, I'm getting a catalytic converter overheat warning, which is funny, because <laughs> those are gone. It's just downpipes for track use only. Track use. Aren't all his Ferraris just painted really poorly? Yes. I mean, look at it with all the gold on it. I mean, he needs a Jersey Shore nickname to go with that thing. What, I, what would his Jersey Shore nickname be? Tyler. The predicament Hoover. The predicament. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yes. Last turn until the big straight. Downshifting, going to carry as much speed as we can. Oh, maybe we have bigger balls in front, even less horsepower. Come on. And big straight. Come on, car. Oh, here he comes. Actually, that. That sounds pretty good. It does sound good. It's awesome. There's 100. 120. 5, 6, 7, 8, 30. And... Whoa! 
Oh, 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 oh. oh. oh, oh. Stop, 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 downshift. A little, little darty there yeah. under the braking zone. Yes, that, but he made it through. He made it through. He's not on the grass like I think you were on the grass. Listen, man, uh, how fast do you think that was? Thanks to my giant digital screen, I think I saw 131 before I lifted. And I lifted a little early, but that's all right. I'll take it. 131 on a straight that's less than a quarter mile. That's pretty darn good. <laughs> all right, cool off car. We got a long trip ahead of us. That's it. You're up. How hard are you going to push this bad boy? I am going to give all of it. So I have carbon ceramic brake. brakes. I got the air brake. You're the air brake. Yeah, and uh, there's there's a lot of track here, and I have a lot of power. So if I can keep it out of the grass, I think this should be no problem. Well, history's got a way of repeating itself. You could total it again. Okay. Well, thank you for the uh, nice words. That's it. Uh, break a car. That okay. car is strong. Yeah? Very, very strong. Well, it broke it in for Ari. It could be a little bit more horsepower, <laughs> I suppose. Yeah. I suppose, but it's absolutely tremendous Sounds considering good. its history. Yes. But uh, Freddy's car, uh, he really needs this. Like, really, really needs to show that a car works and it's completed <laughs> after two years of building this thing. It's been a process. Uh, so, he may try really, really hard. Now, this is a very, very capable track car. I am not a super capable track driver, but I'm fairly certain, in fact, I'm very certain that I'm faster than Tyler and Ed. What do you think it's making? 700 horsepower? So maybe 750, he would say? He'd probably say 950? Right, he'd say 1,000 right. horsepower. And he has custom turbos, so way more power to the dyno even stock, so... He should outrun us by a very good bit. Okay. But yeah. who knows? So this car brand new was capable of 205 miles an hour, but the braking is what I'm most concerned about because if I'm doing a decent rate of speed and my brakes don't hold up, then I am toast. But one thing that Tyler and Ed definitely don't have, a massive, massive air brake back there that goes vertical when you have to brake real hard, like a plane trying to slow down after a runway. He's going to have to trust the air brake because the balance under braking, they have like no rear brakes at all. And so you use the front brakes, it wiggles, and then the air brake calms it down. So this could be very, very dramatic. Uh, yeah, here it comes. All right, let's do it. Come out of this doing about 60 and nail it. 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, oh! Break, 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 break. Whoa, ho, ho. those are brakes. Holy hell. <laughs> that was 150 miles an hour. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a rocket ship. <laughs> good car, good car. <laughs> oh my goodness. How oh, about that? That was way faster than you. That would be impressive. Let's, Let's go see. find out. I love this car. I love this car. My McLaren had officially proven itself on a 115 degree track day. The same could not be said for our audio equipment, which overheated and died right as I was likely making a great point about something. Thankfully, the crew turned on their spare microphone just in time for Ed to get a text from Auto Tempest. Over the next few days, the entirety of car culture will converge near Monterey, California for car you guys are filing some cars that might actually fit in. So head that way and get ready for a week you'll never forget. You guys are carving movies, right? It's amazing. And it's much cooler in Monterey than it is here. <clears throat> We're shooting this in early August, but you guys don't get to see it until sometime in November. And we've told you how much we paid for our cars now, but Freddie, when they watch this, what do you think will be the average price of a 675 LT? With a roof scoop? $450,000. <laughs> what? No, <laughs> no. Tyler, what about a 458, let's say with average mileage? Well, given my track record, probably 97,000, realistically more like $200,000, I would imagine. 
that's probably fair. And I think you'd be able to pick up an R8 V10 Plus for give or take 160 grand. So let us know in the comments who was closest and you can find a link in the description below to each of our cars on Auto Tempest. Click the link down there. AutoTempest.com, all the cars, one search. Except this car. No, no not, that's not, not listed. No, this, this isn't on there. You can't buy this.